The notion of what makes an enterprise tablet has a lot to do with the performance of the device and the applications that run on it. So I think when we first started, we had consumer tablets, maybe they didn't have quite the performance, maybe they didn't have the storage capacity that we were looking for. I think now um, even consumer tablets have gotten a lot better, and then it becomes a matter of uh, can you run the applications and services you want on it? And we're really at the early days of getting things that are sort of tablet ready uh, from the various OS perspectives. But we're extremely optimistic about that. And now they have cameras and they have video. So it's a much richer experience than it used to be. Employees in large businesses are increasingly looking for a tablet-like form factor. So, and yet they also need to run Windows applications. So I think the best opportunity is what I'll call Tablet Plus, this idea of a tablet plus a keyboard. I, I think a tablet by itself isn't necessarily going to be as compelling if I'm talking about Windows, but a tablet plus a keyboard gives me the flexibility to run the Windows apps that I need to run, like a notebook, and then when I want to just do a tablet kind of thing, I can do that as well. So I think that makes the most sense, and there's opportunity there, and, and it fits into the environment that people are used to. We've got a real change going on right now with tablets coming up at the, at the bottom end, so smartphones that have six inch or better screens, and then we get laptops that are coming down into the same price range, the same weight, uh, same portability as tablets, and I'm one of the people that believes that tablets are probably going to get squeezed out of the middle as we go through this next uh, second half of the decade. Uh, but, but right now, a tablet has fulfills that role between a smartphone that's too small and a, a notebook computer that's too large, heavy, and expensive.